Hey there, boys and girls. It's your old podcast pal, Ralph, here. Why don't you check out The Ralph Report? That's my daily show, Monday through Friday. You can get an earful of me, and we have a pretty good time. Plus, if you're a Hollywood Babylon fan and you subscribe at the three- or four-star general levels, you can get the entire back catalog of Hollywood Babylon, the past decade of Babylons, for you to listen to at your leisure. Plus, the four-star tier, they get to watch us record the show live once a week. Plus, there's uh, live stream events, all kinds of goodies. Why don't you go check it out? Go over there at Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash the Ralph Report. That's P A T R E O N dot com slash the Ralph Report. Or check us out at the Ralph Report.com. Avast, G Mateys. It's me, Kevin Smith. Jason Mew. Have you ever wanted to get lost on the high seas with Jay and Silent Bob? Well, now you're going to have your chance. Go to Jay and Silent Bob Cruiseaskew.com right now and sign up for Jay and Silent Bob's Cruise Askew. Mm-hmm. What are you waiting for, man? Get lost at sea with Jay and Silent Bob. Let's do it. It's time to babble the fuck on. It's Hollywood Babylon. With your hosts, Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman. It is Saturday night. Burbank. Fuck, yeah, I forgot. Jesus. Can't even blame it on weed anymore. It's right. Saturday night in Burbank, so let's babble the fuck out. I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Ralph Garman. Hey! Hi, gang. Nice to be back. Kids, full admission, man. On Tuesday, I'll be 12 weeks weed free. Don't fucking applaud that. Oh my God, getting old is so terrible. A few years ago, I fucking went vegan. Used to be happy, now I'm fucking vegan. Right. And uh, fucking, man, I used to be fucking stoned, and now I'm what they call mindful. So, this is my new fucking, this is my new uh, shit. This is, this is what keeps me calm. That's a bottle of lavender. <laughs> oh, Such Jesus. an old man thing. So, throughout the show, I'll periodically, like, Oh my God! I would, That's I would, called poppers, Kevin. Is that what it is? Yeah. This shit smell how? Cum- no, no, no. Why? It'll make. I you have cum. a. I have a strong aversion to lavender. Are you serious? serious? Yeah, like a strong aversion. It's what. It's one of my least favorite. Who aromas. touched you with lavender? I don't know. <laughs> Louis, you, you Louis really the Lilac. Like this? Uh, I really have a strong aversion to lavender. Are you doing a bit? Or no, no, no. It's it is serious as shit. Well, I fucking need this. <laughs> To keep me at bay? <laughs> yes. No, to keep me fucking calm Yeah, and put shit. the cap back I'll put on it, that no, shit. No, I gotta leave it over here and shit. My God. You don't like this. I would suck dick for this shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I put it all over my bed and shit. I put it all oh. over my dogs. Oh, it's my amazing. God. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, there's a few smells in life that I cannot abide, and that's one of them. Pussy, lavender. No, pussies. I'm all about the... They have a bottle of pussy in your pocket. I'll take that. <laughs> That's what lavender is. It's nature's pussy. No, it's not. No, it's nature's I, herpes. I fucking, I've known you like... <laughs> I've known you 15, 20 years at this point. And lavender never came up. I, I know. know. What are the odds? What, what are your other fucking uh, kryptonite smells? Um, that's the worst one. Uh, I'm not a big fan of... Uh, Anything like sickly sweet, like, uh, like cotton bu- candy, cotton candy, bubble gum, some stuff like that. It, uh, oh my god, you're yeah. so bitter. It's just a trigger. I don't know why. What do you it's like? Just... Steak? I fucking like the smell of steak and shit. Yeah, human blood. <laughs> <laughs> All the good so, aromas. So there's somebody like a gorgeous woman and shit, and she smells like lavender, and you'd be like, "Get off me!" Uh, mm, how hot? <laughs> gorgeous. Um, after I'd be like, get off me. <laughs> when it's yeah, all done. Yeah, when it's all over. Yeah. That's the way you are normally without the lavender as well. <laughs> How have you been? Good. I'll keep this far away, man. Fuck, Please. I had no Thank idea. Thank you, yeah. I'm just, I'm, that's so, like, I'm, hold on a second. <laughs> Seriously, that's so... <laughs> get over it, man. I feel like I want to go backstage and have a conversation and then restart the show, put the lavender away. It's yeah, shit. it's just, uh, it's something about it. I was literally going to put it on my ears. <laughs> dab it, like, here, like a lady and shit, but... Now I'm glad I didn't because be like, we won't be making out later. I guess not. 
Fuck, man. Uh, yeah, I gave up weed, uh, which is like, I'll tell you, worst time in, the, in my life to give up weed because remember, I bought a movie theater, right? right? Which you'd imagine would be fun, but can I tell you something about film exhibition? <laughs> Nobody's going to the movies anymore, man. Yeah. That's, that's uh, Avatar 2, opening night, 12 people. I know. I don't know where the fuck it made money, not at my theater and shit. Uh, Creed 3, opening night, 7 o'clock Friday night show. Six fucking people. No. Fucking Shazam? Whole audience said Shazont and didn't fucking show up. <laughs> so you know what does well there? You. Yes. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith movies. Yeah. We did a Clerks marathon. Like uh, We did Clerks open all night. We showed Clerks. Clerks 2 and Clerks 3 from midnight till 6. Sold the fuck out. A week from tonight, I'll be back in Jersey doing a Chasing Amy show with Jason Lee. That's fucking sold out and stuff. Um, but... Other than my shit, kids' movies. Really? Oh, this fuck. I'm. You know whose dick I'm ready to suck is Super Mario. Holy yeah. shit! He single-handedly saved my fucking theater and shit. We should call ourselves the Super Super Babble Brothers or something. <laughs> Trying to get a little uh, little bounce I'll, off. Of you that. wear a red hat. I'll wear a green hat. <laughs> we'll mark it off that. We'll do really insulting Italian accents, yeah. or we'll just sound like Chris Pratt. Um, <laughs> We we show like fucking we don't not even new kids movies we showed the fucking Muppet movie, and we had 170 people that night. Well, if you got if you got kids, yes, you want to get them out of the house, and you want to get out of the house with them. Why? And because you want to keep them calm. You know what'll keep a kid calm? No, get Lavender. the fuck away. <laughs> you just put it all over that kid. He'll be like, oh, oh, oh. no. If they're bouncing off the walls at the house, you're like, okay, let's get in the fucking car and go someplace and do something. The movies is a great, a great option for I've, that. We've noticed that people like drop their kids off and they're like, and take the fuck off. <laughs> they slow down and just open <laughs> yeah, the door, they roll them out the car and shit. It's Jersey, so they're tough. <laughs> Speaking of Muppets, yes. You didn't tell me you were cheating on me. Oh fuck. Yes. Here I thought we were the band. I thought we got Dr. Josh Roush back tonight, by the way. Give so it up for Dr. Josh Roush! So the band is truly back together, and then I see you whoring around with another band. Can we put that picture up of uh, Kevin Smith <laughs> and that other band? <laughs> it's been a minute, Josh. I know you're, you're, you're still getting your sea legs. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. You with the mayhem. That was back when I was a stoner. Look how happy I am. <laughs> I'm like, puppets. Um, yeah, that was July, man. Uh, before, uh, yeah, that was way back. Uh, I had that picture on my phone for so long, and I always wanted to post it on Instagram, but they're like, don't until the fucking show is coming on. So they dropped the trailer for uh, The Muppets uh, Mayhem, it's called. It's a Disney Plus series. I think it starts in May. Yeah. And uh, so once I saw that the trailer went up, and I was in the trailer, I was like, oh, fuck. And I put that up on my Instagram. Most likes I've had, like, fucking all year and shit. Everyone loves a goddamn Muppet, I'll tell you that much. Can't go wrong. It was, you know, honestly, like, all kidding aside, like, I've been, uh, let, let me see, March, we just got into April. March, it was 30 years ago in March that we started shooting Clerks. Wow. So this January, it'll be 30 years that I'm in the entertainment business, right? So in 30 years, oh, thank you very much. Now I'm crisp enough to hear that. <laughs> um, it's been, it'll be 30 years that I've been like in entertainment and shit. And at a certain point, you've like seen it all and, and you know how the sausage is made. And I've met famous people and whatnot and done very cool things. But being on set with Muppets was like transcendent. It was absolutely magical. Um, the whole set is built in a way where like uh, you're standing on one level and then everything has holes in the floor where, I don't know if you know this or not, but fucking Muppets are operated by people. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Spoilers. Um, if you were stoned, that would blow your mind right now. Well, I was stoned, and I was like, what? <laughs> they had to keep pulling me away from the edge because I'd get so close, I would almost fall in. But uh, the, the Muppeteers are down below, like on the actual floor, and all the sets are raised. Right. So that when they go like this, and they, and they literally say, Muppets up, and up go the fucking Muppets and shit. They're on your level, or at least, at least near your level. So you could be sa standing there, and I was, talking to a Muppeteer. And they'll, they're talking to you with their voice and shit, but they keep the Muppet alive. <laughs> No. Yeah, they're never like fucking like it's never down or fucking sitting off to the side or something like that. They have them up. So even when they're talking to you, they're doing this shit and blinking and nodding. So it's almost like you're having a conversation with three people and shit. And then when they address you through the Muppet, you 
can't, even though the, the Muppeteer is standing right there, it'd be like, you, do your hand. Okay, so I'm here. So, and start doing a Muppet Hi-ho, voice. everybody. It's good to see you here today. Yay! You just fucking We're... stare at the Muppet. Like it's a real and live thing. And now do the Muppeteer voices if you're not doing a Muppet. So anyway, Kevin, when we get going again, we're going to... Out of my way. <laughs> like, you just, all you want to do is look into the eyes of the fucking, the velvety eyes of the Muppet. It was absolutely fucking beautiful. One of the most fun times I've ever had, like, doing anything anywhere. And the trailer looks very fun. Does look good. Adam Goldberg, who does the Goldbergs, uh, he invited me into it because he was the one that did the show. He's a huge Muppet fan. And uh, he was very kind. He sent me a, a clip of the show one night in the middle of the night. I got a text and I opened up my phone and it was like my whole first scene. He just shot it like off the editing bed. Oh, fun. And it's fucking dope. I want to spoil it, but then they'll cut me out. Yeah. But I here. Oh, fuck. Don't. Listen. God damn it. I interact with Animal qu a, quite a bit. Yeah. Ah! He took Jay's place. <laughs> <laughs> and I, May in the future, I'm guessing. Yeah, I told Jay, I was like, you better fucking shape up, man, because I got a new buddy. And he's way more wild than you. Uh, it was absolutely fucking delightful, though. Like, truly... I, I've said it before, it's going to sound tired, but very magical. Like, just took all my 30 years of, like, I've seen it all in this business right away, reduced me to being a child. I, I used to watch the Muppets, like, every night with my grandmother because it was a syndicated program. Yeah, right. So it would be on, like, five nights a week and stuff. And she loved the Muppets, I loved the Muppets, so then when I was on set, I was literally telling Dr. Teeth, I was like, I used to watch you <laughs> <laughs> with my grandmother, and the Muppeteer was like, I'm right here, buddy. Like, <laughs> They gotta get behind the Muppets so you make human human eye contact. But yeah, it'll be it'll be good, man. The show looks very very funny and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for closing uh, closing us out. Thanks for selling us out tonight, guys. We appreciate it. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, we have uh, a little business to take care of. We have another show here again next month on the twentieth of May. We'll be back. Yeah. Buy tickets right now. We'll wait. Yeah. Phones aren't coming out at all. <laughs> and then the following month in June, mm. we're going to be performing at your same said movie theater in, right. uh, in New Jersey. We're going to yes. do in Hollywood Babylon there in June. Hollywood so. Babylon going back to New Jersey, man. We're doing it at Smog Castle Cinemas. You can get tickets right now. They're on sale at SmogCastleCinemas.com. Uh, the uh, we June, no. Fifth? Is it June? June, yeah. June 3rd, thank you. Somebody said June 3rd. June 3rd, 3rd, and then June 4th, we're also doing Hollywood Babylon Comic Con Theater. Which we haven't done well. in a million years. That's where we read comics and we pull people on stage and let them read and shit like that. I guarantee you we outgrossed The Flash. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> might be the one theater. movie that actually people show up for. I'm going to go see that movie. I, I think know. I was talking about it last time. Yeah. I get to go to CinemaCon uh, in, in, in a week or two. I guess it's not this week, but the week after. Um, Josh, too. Josh owns a piece of the Smod Castle Cinemas as well. Oh, my So we goodness. get to go as exhibitors and shit and see Flash. They're running it on April 25th, which is actually like my anniversary, my 24th anniversary. And my wife's like, what are we doing for our 24th anniversary? I was like, we're seeing the fucking Flash, bitch. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, but... I was like, I'll tell you where I'm going to be. <laughs> Uh, and if you want to be there, fine. But yeah, man, I, I, I cannot wait, man. Have you seen the new piece? Like, the, the new, like, there's a trailer that's dropping April 25th, so they keep dropping these little teasers on TV, and one of them showed Michael Keaton in Batsuit with, with the cowl off. Cowl off. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's my happy place right there, man. Fucking Michael Keaton, Batman. I saw some people bitching online about, like, the CG, and I was like, I don't care if they do it with fucking puppets, preferably <laughs> Muppets. <laughs> Like Michael Keaton as Batman, fucking, oh my God, I'm so there for yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Um, we're also, once again, I think, you know, COVID kicked the ass of, of Hollywood Babylon because it's a live show and we couldn't do it for about two years because of COVID and everyone quarantining and staying safe. So it's been a minute since we've gotten things back up to speed and we're going to do it monthly, at least moving forward the best that we can. But I know actually we're back now. Yeah. Because someone reached out and said they wanted to sponsor Hollywood Babylon tonight. We got an ad? We have an ad. I'm very excited. Fucking A. I mean, technically, we just did one for the Muppets for like 20 minutes. I know, minutes. for no money. Yes. But satisfaction. But the folks at Manscaped.com oh, reached out. Oh, Manscaped. Yeah. Because as you know, I'm a big Manscaper. 
We've you, talked about it on the show. You have to with those nuts of yours. That's right. <laughs> Ralph has the biggest dangliest balls, man. I have voluminous balls. Yeah, no dick, fucking a lot of balls. I, how <laughs> dare you, sir? <laughs> no meat, all veg, as no. they say. The rod matches the tackle, I'll have you know. <laughs> I never heard that one. That's oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the, they re, they're reaching out to us because it's tax season and people are going to be getting uh, tax refunds. So what better way to spend your money than on your friends and your family and ball deodorant? I think that's the... <laughs> I was trying to make the connection. I was like, what does tax season have to do with it? Like, oh, I'll stole my money. Might as well shave my nuts. <laughs> If you get a tax refund, you got to invest it in yourself. So we're doing, uh, tonight is, is sponsored by Manscaped, and they sent a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to give this shit away to some people, because I've already got some. Um, Manscaped is that, I mean, I'm just saying this because they gave us money to do an ad, but like they, they have a nose hair trimmer, which I use all the fucking time. You know about it. Or are you just applauding nose hair trimming? It's the best nose hair trimmer in the world. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's what it, it looks like. Yes. And also, side note, it vibrates, so if you hold it against your dick, you'll come. I don't know how I know that. I just fucking heard. I think I read it on the website. This one's not charged. This it's is all... not charged. I think the... I think the well, sh shit, if I'm not going to come that way, I need my lavender. <laughs> yes. And I this know is the razor. The razor came charged. Originally, man... I'm going to give this away slightly used. I hope no one minds. <laughs> Originally, they were all about, like, shave your nuts, but now they have a full line. It's like they got shampoo and stuff like that. Body wash, shampoo, deodorant. deodorant. Uh, they've got the, be the beard hedger, so they have you covered for your whole body from top to bottom. Well, this I think that's because people were using the ball trimmer to shave their beards, and they're like, hold on, we'll yeah. give you an actual we'll beard give you a trimmer. separate thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, this here that I have, this is the Performance Pack 4.0, and it's got everything in it that we were talking about. It's got um, the nose hair and ear hair clipper. It's got the razor for your balls. All this stuff is waterproof, too, so you can use in the shower, because that's where I like to what manscape. Is this? this is the toner. That is... Crop uh, Reviver. It's called Crop Reviver. It's your ball toner, because you don't want... You don't want untoned balls. <laughs> no, no. And this is the crop preserver. Yeah, to make your uh, nuts... Ball deodorant. Ball deodorant, and um, it makes them stick-free, so they don't stick you to your You should smell it, make sure it's okay with you. It is. I've, I've used all these products already, so I know that the scent is excellent. There's really? No, la no lavender involved whatsoever. <laughs> Lavender-free. Performance Package 4.0. The uh, lawnmower trimmer comes in this. The, uh, the uh, ear and nose trimmer, as we talked about. The crop preserver, the crop reviver. All can be yours if you go to manscaped.com and you get 20% off and free shipping just by using the code BABBLE when you check out. How about that? This is making me fucking not calm. No, stop. <laughs> and the beard hedger, too, uh, is also available. All this good stuff can be yours at manscaped.com. 20% off, free shipping if you use the code BABBLE. So go there and support the kind people who reach yeah, out to us. Yeah, please support them because, heavens, they're supporting us. They are indeed. You get a beard, don't you, sir? Yeah, here, here's the beard trimmer. That's for you, right there. I'm, not, I'm only saying it because you look like you could use a little trim, quite frankly. But I thought you were talking I'm about being it. helpful. Don't groan. <laughs> He'll thank me later. Aren't you glad you got here early and sat up front and shit? Would you like some lavender as well? No lavender. <laughs> Anybody have uh, smelly balls? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this young lady's raising her hand over there. So. She's drinking the Bud Light. That's how I know what she's... Uh... Wow. Finger on the pulse. Well done, man. Thank you so much. Shit. Yeah. I'm not new. <laughs> she's uh, drinking the Bud Light. Oh, my God. That was impressive. That's, that's, like, that's like radio good. That's like you were fucking back on K-Rock and had to be on top of shit. Back when I was good? Is that what <laughs> yes, you're saying? Yes. When we was fab, yes. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm happier now. Yeah, fuck yeah, you are. Uh, let's get to the show. What do you say? Aren't we going to give away the rest of the show? Well, you know, we got some shout-outs, so I thought maybe we'd give them out to people who are here tonight from particularly long distances or celebrating special occasions I gotta with us. I got to tell you, it's like you plan the whole show without me all Isn't the time. It? Isn't it like that? <laughs> Isn't it just like that? Fuck you. <laughs> it's almost um, as if I put the whole show together to take a couple days to build it, and then you roll in and sit down for about an hour with me. It's almost <laughs> like that. Literally, one of my favorite things about this show is I come and it just happens. But <laughs> for you, it seems to be like something you work on in advance. 
I, I always tell I'm people I'm a I'm fucking like, so Muppeteer fun. and you're the Muppet. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It's you working me. <laughs> Let's say hi to some folks who have done all the things I said just earlier. It's called the shout outs. It's a shout out with Kevin and Brown, so get your cock out. Yeah. Get your cock out. Yes, indeed. Apparently, didn't need weed for that. No. You can blow a mic stone cold sober. That's true. I, what, what's my excuse now, though? Back in the day, I used to be like, well, I was high. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, fuck. <laughs> you, you're snorting more than I did back in the good old days. <laughs> my shit's cheaper than your <laughs> yeah, shit was. That's for sure. Uh, Angus Sinclair, are you here tonight, Angus? Good day, yeah. Angus. Yeah. How do you know Angus? Did you meet him in line? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. In the bar. yeah, I bet you did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Angus writes, uh, Good day, Ralph and Kevin. He's from Australia. <laughs> Fuck, what, what part? Melbourne. Did you bring something for me to sign? Yeah. A yeah. Funko Pop? Yeah. My friend Joaquin told me about you. He was like, There's a guy here who fucking came from Australia to see you. He's going, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> and Ralph, yeah, and whatever. Uh, <laughs> Did you bring Ralph's pop? No. So fucking. And uh, throw the it up. rest. <laughs> and the rest. <laughs> throw that shit up here, man. Or you could walk it up. Walk it on up, man. I'll read his email while he yeah, walks up here. It. Coming to your show on April 15th, all the way from Melbourne, Australia. Now, Melbourne, is that different than Melbourne? It's Melbourne. It is Melbourne. Why does he say Melbourne? Because he's making fun of Americans? Is that why? You cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around. Walk back to your seat. You come on up, Mel. Uh, bringing my wife, who hasn't seen the show before, so it should be good fun. Don't oh, you leave. Must, You're going to you want be this confused back. as hell. Or I'll, you stay here, or else I'll fucking sell this. <laughs> Special edition, man. Um, who t- should I put it to anyone, or just tag it? Angus. Angus. A N G U S. K O. Fucking anus with a G in the middle. Anus with a G in the middle. You're right, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now that I see it written out. Now that Fuck. you're sober, you're seeing everything more clearly. Really, man, I'm so crisp. This is a really nice Sharpie, Angus. Well done. Angus says, I would love to see you two do a shoey with whatever you're drinking tonight. What's a shoey? Yeah. See, that's why we're not going to do it, you fucking animal. <laughs> you know what a shoey is? No. It's this Australian thing where you take your drink and you take your shoe off then you pour it into your shoe, and then you drink it out of your shoe. It's disgusting. <laughs> we know. But you're drinking beer. You know. Yeah, you can drink beer, but I'm not going to ruin good Jack Daniels by putting it in my shoe. I'll tell you that much. We could do it, and then afterwards. No, we're not smelling your fucking lavender. <laughs> All right. Angus and your lovely wife, what's your name? Jess. Jen? Thank- Jess. Jess. Thank Jeez. you so much Jeez. for coming all this way. Jessica. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for making the trip. We have so many uh, HBO fans down in, in Australia. We really have to get there someday. <laughs> Said the guy who fucking came all the way here carrying yeah. a pop. They let you bring that on the plane and shit? No, I had to buy a business class seat for it. You bought a business class seat for us? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like your service animal. Uh, Patrick Grun, Grunley? Right here. Am I saying that correct, Patrick? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Patrick came all the way from Norway. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Did you bring a pop as well? Uh, he brought a book. Didn't you bring a book you want Kevin to sign? Bring, bring it on up. up. We're signing all kinds of shit tonight, apparently. <laughs> here, you might need this. Patrick, Patrick says, it was a long plane ride from Norway. Did you know that holding in a fart for over 10 hours can hurt your sphincter? I didn't know that. That is Why true. Why did you hold it in? Because he's from Norway and they're polite. Oh. How are you, man? Welcome. What part of Norway? As if I know any parts. In the middle. Right in the, the middle? middle. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, Svinten, right? Isn't that right there in the near? Is it near Svinten? Or Svornumten? <laughs> is it spelled, Patrick spelled the normal way? No, is there... it's P-A-T-R-I-K. Uh, I-K. I-K. That ain't the normal way. <laughs> no, it's, it is in Norway, I bet. I guess so. Yeah. Do I put an umlaut over it or whatever the fuck? No. 
But his last name, Grunli, uh, Grunli has a in there. It's got the Ghostbusters no sign. Yeah, the Ghostbusters O. Why do you fuckers have to be so different and have to put a line through your O? Just use the fucking O. Nobody cares. Oh, look at this. We put a lane through the air, so everybody thinks we're special. If, it's, if he's unnerving you, smell this. <laughs> yes, right? Such a pleasure. And there you go, sir. The next person better be from another fucking country. If they're from America, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. I'm spoiled now. Right. Uh, I want to go to Scandinavia, to that part of the world. I wanna, that's one of my bucket list things. I want to see Finland and Norway and Sweden. And I want to spend some time there. Patrick, do you vouch for, for that part of the world? <laughs> the Swedes and the Nords apparently have some like real friction going on. Is that on. right? Yeah. They don't like it. What'd they do to you? Bork, bork, bork. <laughs> The Finns are the happiest people in the world. Yes. Is that right? It's absolutely scientifically proven that people in Finland have the highest rate of happiness of everyone on the planet. Um, and yet, I think it, it was the Winter War, is that what it's called? The Finns, like years and years ago when they fought the Germans uh, and, yeah, the, and the Russians, like, they were like fucking vicious. Yes, and they, the Russians and the, and the Germans fucked off because they were because just too tough. Because the Finns, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. what made them happy. Yes. <laughs> We beat the Nazis. <laughs> is that is that is that close or no? <laughs> he went like this. <laughs> Kevin, you know by now nothing is close. <laughs> it's true, but hopefully it's fine. man of nine voices. That's right. Uh, Chris Duffy, are you here, Chris? Where are you? Here's Chris right there. Where are you from? Alaska. That's another fucking country. Might as well be. <laughs> Chris drove from Alaska. Can you do that? I guess so. You just have to come through. You have to go through Russia, I think, but still, <laughs> you can get here. You got to cut through Canada, right, to get here? Yeah. Fucking a. It's not like Hawaii. You can't drive here from Hawaii, I understand, but like Alaska, <laughs> you could definitely make it. Really it really never was the pot, was it? No. No. <laughs> well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the lower 48, my friend. As we say, very rarely. Uh, Chris is a retired Air Force uh, oh, thank member, you for so your thank you for your service as well. Sadly, one of the reasons he drove down was because his mom passed away in Delaware, so he drove down to, to be with her. And then uh, he decided since he was in the lower 48, he would come by and uh, see us. So we appreciate name, that. He says, here, I brought a 12-pack of yinglings for you. In the car, yeah. I've heard that before. <laughs> you hey, come there. out to the car. I got yinglings for you. <laughs> Where are my yinglings? <laughs> He's like, Psych. <laughs> my yinglings are in your stomach now. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked Is that up. a beer that you can only get in Alaska or no? No, it's a Philly, it's a, it's a Pennsylvania beer. It's my it's my beloved Pennsylvania yeah, I remember, beer. But yes, you... but you can only get it uh, east of the Rockies or the Mississippi or some shit. So but he you... was in Delaware, so I'm assuming he got some. Is that where you there. went to Delaware? That's where his mom was. I was in Delaware. I was in the. Uh, I'm so sorry. You went to the Ides of Mark show? Yeah. Fucking a man. Right on. Well, fucking good seeing you so again. So you're you're stalking Kevin now, I guess is what's <laughs> happening. Yeah, so. That's okay. He brought you the England. Yeah, so I, I know. know. So he says in the car. <laughs> uh, Celeste Soriano. Are you here, Celeste? Woo. <laughs> Woo. She didn't want to commit because she's not from fucking Norway or yeah. Australia. She's from Upland. <laughs> oh, shit. That's almost like another country as well. Statistically, Uplanders are the happiest people on earth. Did you know that? <laughs> that's because they beat the Russians that's and right. the Germans. They knocked them out of California. That's with that's Molotov a, that's cocktails. My name is Celeste. I'm a longtime listener. My partner Jose is with me tonight for our first Hollywood Babylon. We'll welcome you welcome. guys. Welcome. Your first time. If at any time you feel nervous or whatnot, take a snort. Right up your nostrils, yeah. man. Done and done. A dab will do you. He has no idea what's going on. You've never heard the show before, Jose? No, no. You're what are your thoughts so far? Yeah. Oh, I, I love it. It's great. 
Fucking hey, man. What's it's he all downhill say? after this part. Yeah, though. really. Uh, could Bane give him a warm welcome and a short description of what he'll be getting himself into tonight? I think I can, man. I think you can too. Jose, you in for a pleasant evening at Hollywood Babylon. One of us is very calm and the other is a pussy when it comes to lavender. Dick. I have one question for you. Do you have any weed? No. No. <laughs> you're, you're not doing that anymore. It's not for me. It's for a friend. <laughs> um, you're in for good times. This guy's funny and this guy's just present. How long have you been with Celeste? <laughs> How long have you gotten to third base? <laughs> you have. <laughs> Can we see? <laughs> Jose, you look like a hairy dude. Are you like a, you're like a bear? Are you like one of those bears they talk about? Celeste, is he hairy? Uh, I mean, on the face. On the face? <laughs> how, are his, how are his balls? <laughs> They're hairy right now? Well, we got just the thing to take care of that, my friend. Come on up here for your first Hollywood Babylon experience. The whole thing? We're going to give him the, uh, the set. The whole motherfucker uh, came from Norway, and you're like, here, Upland. Come on up, grab it before we give it to a foreigner. You, you signed some shit for them. We can Welcome. give the guy from Norway deodorant if he, if he you know, you want, want some, some deodorant. deodorant? <laughs> he got right the fuck up, man. Look at him. It's a long flight back to Norway. You probably can use it. Here, hold on. Man, about, nice hands. What, a, what about Alaska? Alaska. Let's see what we got left here. Uh, we have a shampoo and conditioner combined. He's or got a shaved head. Don't give him the shampoo. Uh, 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 how about body, how some military. body wash? Body wash. Body wash in Alaska? All right, sure. Yeah, all right, sure. <laughs> I'm not going to throw this because this could kill someone. This is heavy. It's heavy. It's in a metal bottle. It's a metal bottle. Look, we can pass it back. All right, can we pass this back to Alaska right there? There you go, Chris. What about Australia? You got a hard on for Australia right now. I think he's with his wife, lady. Why don't you just calm down for a second? Uh, um, shampoo and conditioner, Australia. What do you say? You, you can watch Jess's hair at the hotel later on tonight. It's very erotic. Pass it hand on that back. back to him. All right, all the manscaped.com stuff is gone. We're Look at that. Right And lastly, I bring these guys up. Uh, they're actually, it's not lastly. It's the penultimate, if oh, you will. Oh, shit. Um, Shannon and Patrick Finn were supposed to be here at our last show. They're right up front. I should have given you the fucking beer. Yeah, look at that look beer, at you. man. Jesus Holy Christ. shit. They were the ones who were driving from Reno. And if you remember, it was like horrific snow and rain. Some bad weather. And we, they sent in a shout out expecting to be here the last show. And we talked about them and they weren't here. And we decided they were dead. Remember? Yes. They were, they'd eat, eat, eaten each other yes, to stay alive. Yes, they had resorted to cannibalism yeah. in order to stay alive. Daughter well, passed. it worked because they've eaten people and they're actually here tonight. So Fucking thank you so hey, well much, done, guys. Kids. Way to survive. Shannon and Patrick Finn from Reno, Nevada. Nevada. Nevada, right? Yeah. I get in so much trouble with that. People get very Didn't serious. We, we did a show in... Reno, didn't we? Or Tahoe? Where? Which was? The hundredth show. show was in Reno. I remember that, and I'm fucking <laughs> the baked one. You don't remember? You're looking at me all blank. I have no remember of ever memory of ever performing in, in Our Reno. Our hundredth show we did in Reno, that's, Nevada. That's a lot of shows to go, son. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I I understand you have a gift for us. Is that what I? I do. And then I felt bad that I just brought something for Kevin. <laughs> No, this is, I want to see this. Kevin, yes. Pull these tabs, okay? Pull these tabs. Oh, my God. Did you get me an ad at? <laughs> this reminds me of being 11 years old at Christmas. Thank you so much. Oh, look at that bag. The bag alone is a treat. Look at that 60s Batman. That's awfully cool. small compared to this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Here, pull the box from that side, kids. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. This is Liam Neeson's cock. One six scale. It's the one six scale Liam Neeson's cock. Oh my God. It's like a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> Hi ho. <laughs> well, now we've got a fourth on the show. <laughs> Me, you, Josh, and this. Yeah, there you go. This is amazing. Did you make this? That's incredible. I 
And it's manscaped. And it's indeed. manscaped, yes. This is a body pillow. I'm totally sleeping. And she with also this. made me a Batman cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rocks. It's a bat cock. Look how fucking huge it is. <laughs> Stop stroking it. You're weirding me out. I'm going to move my cup and put it right here. <laughs> Jesus. You just hit that lady in the face with your cock. That would be the absolute first time. <laughs> Should, is, is, is it blocking anyone's view? Should yes. I put it? Mine. I'm sorry. Is my dick blocking your view? <laughs> let's put it between us. No, let's not do that. Yeah, we can go ass to ass. <laughs> Look at the way she sewed it. There's like a head on yeah, it. Yeah, man. It's like you've seen one before. Because this is kind of what it looks like, except way smaller. And it's uncut, so it is like Liam Neeson. Because <laughs> it's I'm totally sleeping with this tonight like a body pillow, and my wife's going to be like, you should go back on the pot. Yeah. I was like, this is my new lavender. <laughs> Keeps me calm. Avast, g mateys It's me, Kevin Smith. Jason Mewes. Have you ever wanted to get lost on the high seas with Jay and Silent Bob? Well, now you're going to have your chance. Go to jayandsilentbobcruiseaskew.com right now and sign up for Jay and Silent Bob's Cruise Askew. We're going to hit the high seas. Where are we going, Gilligan? We're going to be going to Miami, to Nassau, Bahamas, and the Norwegian Pearl. Doesn't yeah. that sound great? It's going to be me and him. It's going to be all of our friends. We're doing live podcasts. There's going to be a movies on board. There's going to be a View Askew Museum. Great times to be had by all, ladies and gentlemen. Tickets available right now. Go buy them, man. And if you sign up, before June 23rd, it's only $100 down per cabin. Mm. What are you waiting for, man? Get lost at sea with Jay and Silent Bob. Let's do it. <laughs> and lastly, Nick and Amy are here. Nick and Amy Gregory, where are you guys? Hi, guys. Uh, also from Australia. Moved here from Australia to L.A. eight years ago. Fucking A. Nick works in the industry. You work in animation, Nick? Is that right? Yeah, I used to work for Marvel. Used to work for Marvel Studios. Used to. Did you give that gig up? Oh, you're insane. Why? Why did you give it up? Better gig? I'm not going to say out loud. You're not going to oh, say out loud. Oh, shit. I see. Do you need Fuck. some lavender? <laughs> anyway, when he's not working uh, for the man, he's working for himself. And he sent in this beautiful painting that I wanted to show everyone. This apparently hangs in his office. Take a look at this, Kevin. I think you'll get a kick out of this. Holy shit. This is a gorgeous painting that he's done with characters from many of your films. That is legit fucking wonderful. And it's got obscure fucking uh, Zach and Miri characters as yeah. well. I mean, I'm nor nor used to seeing Jay and Bob. And you got the two devils as opposed to the... <laughs> and there's fucking Bartleby and Loki. Who's between them up top? Uh, Lester, and Lester the Molester from fucking <laughs> Zach and Miri. And there's uh, the J Angel with God, and there's the there's Rufus. Jesus, yeah. this is. Can I buy this off you? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> done did, and done. That is fucking fantastic, man. Beautiful. You got a nice style. Did you want Kevin to sign that for you too? Is that what I heard? Your wife brought it, I think, tonight, didn't she? Yeah, she brought it. You snuck it in. He didn't know. This is a surprise for Nick. Nick, Bring come it up. on up, and Kevin will uh, tag that for you. Bring it up. Kevin will keep it for you. Yeah. You may have to make a copy. God, that's fucking tremendous. And you yeah, just did gorgeous. it for the love of doing it? Uh, yeah, I had some time off and I wanted something I liked on my wall. So Fuck, man. Excellent to meet you. Likewise. Thank you. Well, um, should I make it to anyone? Piece. Oh, you got Jay to sign it already. He was here like a month ago, yeah. He did a show here? You're going to keep up with your friends at all, do you? <laughs> You'd imagine he'd invite me and shit You'd like think. that. You'd um, think. Should I just sign it or should I personalize it? And I see. Nobody spells their name normal anymore. What the fuck? And I see K, dude. It's right there. God, this is fucking gorgeous, man. It is a nice piece. No characters from Yoga Hosers, I've noticed, but that's fine. It's, it's all right. That's great. Yeah. You got excellent fucking, uh, excellent style. And there's the van with the Buddy Christ in it. Fuck, man. I saw that movies can. Banky's Pest Control for House Rats and Mall Rats. So nice. Thank you, Nick. Damn pleasure. Making dreams come true here on the Hollywood Babylon Show. We also get emails from all around the world. Josh? Ain't no drag. Gummin's got an email back. Featuring K. 
Kevin's reaction. That's right. Ali, Alice, not Elise at all. Alice Delgado writes... Um, try it. Try hugging it. I'm not interested. Thank you. <laughs> Why? Don't be such a hard ass. I'm not. I'm just, it's just. Uh, you know what? Yes, yeah. bitch. Yes. Doesn't that feel good? It does feel good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a I knew you weren't a swallower. Got a pube. Um, can you guys, thank you guys for getting me through my work as a clerk every day. I listen during the dead hours, which I can imagine is all the time. Thank you, Alice. Can you call my boyfriend an ass when he chose to pull a Dante and have an affair with his ex who cheated on him in the past as the voice of Al Pacino? That's very specific. Very specific. I love cursing at people, especially as Al Pacino. Hold on, man. Let me shoot this. We haven't heard Al's theme in a while. Can I hear Al's theme? Come on now. More margaritas. Come on now. More margaritas. Oh. Alice's boyfriend. What a cunt. How dare you cheat on the beautiful Alice Delgado? You're out there eating Del Taco, and you got Delgado at home. <laughs> ooh -ah. She's got a great ass, and you are one, son. ooh -ah. Alice, kick him to the curb, girlfriend. <laughs> ooh -ah. <laughs> call, him a, call him a big dick. What's that? Call him a big dick. You know what you are? You're a big dick. There you go. Props. I like it. Nice. Thank well you. done. Uh, speaking of Kevin's work, uh, Michael Beaver sent in this picture he took while out on the road. He said, I hope Kev's getting a piece of this. This was a Jeep he saw on the road, by the way. And <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> You getting anything from the Buddy Jesus uh, wheel covers? Not from that one. No, yeah, it looks like a... That looks kind of homemade, like an yeah. Etsy thing. Yeah. But I don't own Jesus, so at the end of the day... <laughs> I tried. Enough. I tried to trademark Jesus. They're like, you know you can't do that, right? Really? No. Yeah. He don't belong to me because he belongs to all of us. Yes, he does. He is risen. <laughs> Just like this giant like this dick. Guy, God. <laughs> Beat me to it. <laughs> and lastly, Chuck Hirsch writes in in honor That's of a fucking strong name, Chuck Hirsch. Chuck Hirsch, yeah. Private Eye. Yes. <laughs> in honor of recent events, could you sing "They're Coming to Take Me Away" as Donald Trump? <laughs> I don't even know what he's referring to in terms of recent events, but. Uh, I haven't dusted off my Donald for a while. This should be fun. Can we get a little music there, Josh? Remember when you ran away and I got on my knees and begged you not to leave because I'd go berserk? Well, <laughs> you left me anyhow and then the days got worse and worse and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind. And... They're coming to take me away, okay? They're coming to take me away to the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time and I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their polo shirts and khakis and they're coming to take me away. Ha, 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 ha. All right, there you go. It's another one. Folks, send us emails with towns that they've discovered that have fucked up names that we never bothered to name this segment, so we call it Your Town's Got a Fucked Up Name. Your town's got a fucked up, your town's got a fucked up, your town's got a fucked up name. Pablo Hernandez writes, while searching for directions to visit a friend in Boise, Idaho, I noticed this town on the map. He sent us a little piece of the map to show us. Dick Shooter. <laughs> <laughs> we got one of those right here. Yeah, we do. Dick Shooter, Idaho is the name of the town. And uh, they're aware that their name is ridiculous. They've leaned into it. I found a website that has all the Dick Shooter merchandise. Also sounds like a private eye show. <laughs> Dick Shooter. <laughs> private eye. Get private this for, Dick. Get this for the kids when next time you're out looking for something. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> says appropriate for children like the Dick Shooter t-shirts for the kids. Give well, it where do you. you think kids come from? That's true. <laughs> 
folks also send us emails featuring stuff meant for kids, like the Dick Shooter t-shirt, supposed to be enjoyable for children, toys, and the like. And it turns out when we look at them, they are inappropriate. Not appropriate for girls, not appropriate for boys. What the fuck is that? Inappropriate toys. James Iannosi sent this in. This is from a supermarket chain in the UK called Aldi. And Easter, of course, just passed. They were selling marshmallow Easter bunnies and chicks for the kids. Do they not have Aldi out here? It's in, we have Aldi in Burbank? You made it sound like, oh, it's a foreign food I thought food it was store. a UK chain. I didn't no, know. We have Aldi's here. Yeah. It, in Germany, too? Okay, let me start again. There's a chain in Germany and England and America called Aldi go. Supermarkets. <laughs> And they were selling um, marshmallow like peeps, but shaped like bunnies and chicks. At least that's what the package says. One mother bought them for her kids, and then she noticed. <laughs> oh, shit. Can we punch in on those uh, peeps there, John? Yeah. Those are marshmallow cocks and balls. <laughs> More than a mouthful. And I love that Aldi, in response on Twitter, put this up. We can't even defend this one. <laughs> you rarely see that from a business just copping to it. It's like, fuck, you got us. We're busted. Those are indeed marshmallow cocks. I don't know how it happened. It's just... Eat up, kids. Uh, Todd in Renton, Washington sent this in. Are you familiar with this toy? It's called Bop It. It's, a, it's like a puzzle toy for kids. This is from uh, Mandalorian, obviously, with the child. And he, Todd said he was playing with it, and the sounds, well, it sounds like the Mandalorian and the child have a different kind of relationship than they do no, in the series. No. Can we show someone playing that, please, Josh? Bop it. Just the Mandalorian saying bop it and pull it over and over and over <laughs> again. Sounds like something's going on in the cab of the spaceship. And lastly, Kevin Conroy sent this in. Sadly, not that Kevin Conroy. Um, our Kevin Conroy. Though. Our Kevin Conroy, yeah. This is from an amusement park in southwest Germany that got in trouble because of their recent ride. I saw a picture of it. I don't see it, but I got some video of it. I haven't looked at it. Maybe it'll clarify things. Uh, kids, they don't like kids in Germany riding this ride for some reason. It's called the Eagle Fly. Let's take a look. It looks cool. It looks like a, like a like, uh, planes, like you're riding in planes. It, oh, wait a minute. Okay. okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, now I see it. Now, now I see it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the giant spinning swastikas. <laughs> aren't necessarily the best ride for kids in Germany. I just... <laughs> the, Germany, home of that foreign food store, Aldi. <laughs> the owner of the Tatsmania Amusement Park, which is the name of that, Rudiger Braun, said, Yeah, yeah, now I can see where the problem uh, would be. We're, we're fixing it. There'll be three eagles instead of four eagles flying around, so it won't be so much problems. <laughs> Nine. Nine problems. Just for the children's. <laughs> Every uh, episode, we have to say goodbye to some folks in show business who left us soon, too soon, but left behind bodies of work that will last forever. We call those the Tinseltown Stiffs. And now, another edition of Tinseltown Stiffs. They will be missed. Who died? Uh, like... Me, I'm sure you grew up worshipping Mad Magazine. Yes. Oh, I know. Remember guys. the fold-in covers like of Mad Magazine? Al Jaffe. Al the Jaffe, maestro. the great Al Jaffe. Comic genius and amazing artist has passed away this week at the age of 102. He, ma he went deep, though. He did go deep. Mad Magazine had those uh, fold-in covers for 55 years, and he was the only artist to draw them in their entire history. Yeah. If you've never seen one, here's a little video of what it looked like. It would be a funny picture, and then it would have a little, uh, a little blurb on it, like what is constantly reaching record heights, and then you would fold the cover in, and it would turn out to be sneaker prices or something like that. It was always sort of a surprise. And... You couldn't read Mad Magazine and not fold it in. You had to do it. It was compulsory. You saved it for the end. It was the very back page. And yeah. it was the last, uh, you know, there was usually a joke ad on the back. But the fold-in was a big 
It, it gave you a workout. <laughs> it did. You know, because yes. it was a physical activity. Uh, he was also responsible for snappy answers to stupid questions. That yes. was another segment of his. So a man who shaped a lot of our senses of humor for many years. Really did. Honestly, like I, a part of what I do comes from reading Mad Magazine growing up, and he was a big fucking part of that. But 102, bro. It's not a bad run. Yeah, that's, that's pretty damn incredible. And he was working almost up until the end. Yeah. yeah. I think they stopped making the magazine in 2019, I think. And he, and I he think was still he working with on it until yeah. at least 2016. Yeah, one of my favorite character actors, Michael Lerner, has passed away at the oh, age of 81. Uh, this guy was in every TV show in the 70s and 80s. Then he started really hitting large in movies. And the, the ultimate in his career was he was nominated for an Oscar for a film called Barton Fink by He's the Coen Brothers. amazing in Barton Fink. He After... plays the head of the Capitol Film yes. Studio there. Do we have a clip? We do, yes. Oh, thank Christ. Here he is talking to Barton Fink, played by John Turturro, the uh, the new writer in Hollywood, off of his success in New York, and he's trying to get him to write a film, a wrestling picture with Wallace Beery in it, and he's pitching it to uh, John in this scene. Beautiful. Great work, 81 years old, great actor. He's All right, folks, one, he's, happen. he's the one that the fucking, he's like, uh, I've got, uh, he goes, I've got horse sets, goddammit, showmanship. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, I love that movie so much. Folks, happen, uh, things happen in TV and films that aren't supposed to be seen by the audience, but we catch them here in Shit That Should Not Be. And now for shit we should not see, here's some shit that should not be. This one comes from Danny Collins from Barnsley in the UK during season nine. Get, no. It's even worse now. Don't put... This will calm you down. No. <laughs> See, you, went like, lavender. you went vampire on that. You were like... <laughs> Speaking no. of which, man, have you seen the Renfield No, movie? I haven't. I want to, though. Have you seen it? Not yet. I was hoping you did. No, I want to. I like Nick Cage when he's off the leash. Uh, I agree. I don't mean to put your dick down, but it was in the way of seeing my friend. And yes. shit. Um, Danny was watching Friends, and he noticed, you know, a lot of people, Friends is like a massive resurgence. A whole new generation have discovered Friends. But they're, they're finding... Do you know that, I've never seen an episode? Get out! Yeah, have you? Every episode. Do you watch? You've, you watched it I watched it, it was, the first time. While it was happening? Yes. Really? Just and then my kid my... fell in love with it. My, my 13-year-old daughter is now obsessed, and so we sit and we watch, we binge Friends. Huh. <laughs> it's Friends! I, just, I never fucked with it. Wow. Yeah. It's 20-something. Is that right? You never saw it either? I'm from Canada. I don't know if they... They have Friends in Canada. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a thing. They I'm from Canada. I don't know about the friends. <laughs> they may not have Aldi in Canada, but they do have friends. Yeah. It's it's young people sitting and talking. It's your your kind of thing. You would love I, that. I did that. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's right in your wheelhouse. I, yeah. I, I, for some reason, never huh. never never fell down the friend hole. They have a Star Wars episode. Do they? They do. It's not good. No, no. But still, they have one. Good to know. Anyway, people are watching it now, and because they're watching it on, uh, you know, on streaming services and stuff, they're able to catch things they couldn't catch the first time around. Okay. And so Danny noticed this uh, with Jennifer Aniston, who apparently couldn't fucking be bothered to do uh, the scene with uh, with uh, Matt LeBlanc. Here's a little piece of video. Look look to the left if you can. Yes, Here she is. Amazing work. Oh yeah. Doing a oh, scene while she I has lines. Cell phone commercials. I know when the monkey hits him in the face with the giant rubber phone. <laughs> Maybe the monkey will be at the audition. Don't make me more we, nervous than we I already am. We cut back to Matt LeBlanc. Can we still can we get a, a shot of that, John? Should we look? Who the fuck is that girl standing next to him? Oh, shit. Jennifer Aniston couldn't be asked to uh, sit there and have someone else have lines. There was a spinoff to that show after it was... Joey! Done. I was on that. Oh, I bet you watched Joey. I watched my episode. Yeah, I bet you did. But I remember if they asked me, they're like, oh, were you a big Friends fan? I was like, what now? Oh, no. <laughs> and we also look out for acting in film and television that is so bad, it goes all the way around to become exquisite acting. To be or not to be, that is the question. Welcome to the world of exquisite acting with Ralph Garman and Kevin Smith. Uh. 
Uh, usually we look at A-list actors who have turned in D-list performances for our fun, for exquisite acting. But this was so amazing. This came from Max Foz. Thank you, Max. Uh, this is from a film I had never heard of until now called Tammy and the T-Rex. Anybody know this movie? The actors in the scene are Billy Pilgrim and Siobhan Durkin. The, the premise of the uh, film is um, it stars Paul Walker and Denise Richards. This is an actual movie. Uh, Paul, Paul Wa Walker? Paul Walker. This is from 1994, this okay. film. Uh, he dies, and a mad scientist puts his brain inside of an animatronic T-Rex robot. That old story. Is yes. this an episode of Friends? No. <laughs> And so then uh, he goes around to wreak revenge against the high school students who bullied him and to protect his girlfriend, Denise Richards. So in this scene, he is going after Billy, the kid who uh, beat him up and caused him to go into a coma and pass away. And uh, Billy is with a girl in a car and they're having sex. And the reason I picked these two actors, this is a double shot, um, Billy Pilgrim and Siobhan Durkin are the actors. Siobhan Durkin has never had sex before because she obviously doesn't know how women react when they're having sex. And Billy, uh, it, admittedly, has never seen a giant robot Tyrannosaurus Rex before, but uh, their reactions to everything in this scene are just exquisite. It's a minute of magic. Please enjoy. I want to see that movie so badly now. Tammy and the T-Rex and it all the acting. It almost seems like somebody had access to an animatronic T-Rex. Like, let's build a whole movie around this. I'm not kidding you. It's exactly what fucking happened. Are you shitting me? There was a guy who built one, and they were shipping it to some theme park or something, and the guy had access to it for a month, and he said, I'm going to shoot a movie based around a robot T-Rex. That is genius. That's and indie film right there. That's what came out was Tammy and the T-Rex. Fucking A. Available everywhere right now. <laughs> we love to take a look at all the entertainment news as well here, and that's why we do the HBO headline. Give me head, give me head, give me headlines, and give me head. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger is a man of action. Okay, that's all I have. Yeah, I was... No, he was in his neighborhood, and there was a, a bad pothole in the neighborhood, apparently. It was causing a lot of people trouble with their, uh, with their cars and their bikes and stuff. i got a pothole in my life right yeah, now. Yeah, you do. So Arnold took it upon himself to fill in the pothole himself. I think we have a picture of him actually doing the road work there. Here he is. Holy shit. He's uh, putting in the, uh, the gravel, and then he put uh, tar on top of it. He's the Tominator. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Conan the Tarbarian. Ha! Ah. You do prepare the show in advance. Um, how fucking awesome is that? Not though? awesome at all. Why? That, because it was actually a service trench that so SoCal Gas Company had dug because they were doing work in the area. <laughs> so he wasn't even being like a helpful citizen. He was like, "Fuck you." Uh, it turns out they were working in the area and they were digging a trench to get access to the gas lines and he just paved it over, just filled it up. <laughs> Indeed, yes. And then insisted people take photos as well. <laughs> ah, look at me, I'm the deal digging and uh, covering things with uh, hot things. <laughs> um, yeah, SoCal uh, Gas was like, we were, we were working there, Arnold. And, yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> we know you're a cinematic legend, but fuck off. So uh, we don't try to do your job. It was uh, the wrong hole. <laughs> Last time I filled the wrong hole, it cost me my marriage. <laughs> wow. Because of my maid. <laughs> I fucked my maid. Look at me. <laughs> I put this in the maid. <laughs> the way you had to reach down for it and yank it up, it's like when you take a leak with all these huge balls. That's right, I gotta move them to the sign. <laughs> uh, Arnold's good friend Sylvester Stallone's in the news. I don't know if you saw the new trailer that dropped this week for the reality show. No. The, the Family Stallone. That's, it's not a movie, it's an actual, like, they're doing a Kardashians thing? They are doing a very much a Kardashians. Wow. This man is... He's got, like, 86 daughters. Yes, and they are apparently holding him hostage. <laughs> because I can only imagine that's the only reason he would agree to this. It's going to be on Paramount+. Plus. It uh, debuts the 17th. When is that? Uh, three days? Three days? Um... It's, it just looks awful. Uh, you, you, let's just show it. Just I got nothing. He's one of the world's biggest stars. Now, see him like never before as a family man. Really? <laughs> May 17th on Paramount Plus. I feel as though I just jumped into the stone. Girls, your dad's home. Meet one incredible family. Go on. Ow. <laughs> Action. Being the oldest, I've always had this pressure of being very perfect. Dating with the last name that I have is incredibly hard. Being a Stallone, it holds a lot of weight. My sisters and I run a podcast called Unwax. <laughs> It doesn't get much better than this. Brain-wise, body-wise, looks-wise. We're at our peak, ladies. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. When I was younger, I fell in love with acting. What happened? Oh, I got a part. <laughs> I am so nervous walking onto that set. Don't screw this up, Scarlett. Love you. Family is everything. When we're all together, it feels like home. I know we're insane, I know we're crazy, but we love each other so much. I can't believe you guys are actually doing a reality show. Who would have thought you on TV like this? You're welcome. Hey, yo. <laughs> Embrace the moment and not be worried about what other people think. Cheers to family. Not how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. We're still alone. We can keep it together. Oh, always we're going to have each other's back. It's quite ironic that he's the last person that wanted to do this reality show. Yeah, he sees a camera and he's like, Am I in play? That's the truth. The Family Stallone, an all-new reality series streaming May 17th, exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. That's a good dad right there, That man. is dad of the fucking year. Really, truly. Fucking, there's his yoga hosers moment right there. <laughs> that's the, one of the saddest things I've ever seen. No, yeah. that's sweet. How old do you think he is now? Um, 11 <laughs> I just turned 11 years old. And you know, so like, my my wife is like a hundred years younger than me, and then the kids are like a hundred twenty years younger than me. So I had to like do something because you know, divorce was on the horizon. You I was know? gonna say, remember that there was a moment where they were about they to split. split up. Yeah, I think they got back together again, so the show would work. Quite frankly, <laughs> what do you think the Botox budget is on that set for that entire family? Including Sly. He, uh, he, he looks like, uh, he's like, you know how fucking Keanu Reeves took all the dialogue out of John Wick and he's got like 13 lines in the whole movie? <laughs> yes. He's like the John Wick of this show. Hey, look at me, I'm like, I'm like brushing a pussy, okay? Look. <laughs> so that's like good, right? That'll be a good shot. Like, meow. You know, and then I'm like, what? A, a cattail? Huh? So sad. Will you watch? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the Kardashians, Kim Kardashian's joining the cast of American Horror Story. How can you tell the difference between that and her family? That's what I would like to know. <laughs> Season she, 12. Has she ever be... acted before? Oh, well, she's been in things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, if you could call anything that she's done acting, but yeah, she has. She was in the... Uh, 
some things. She did yeah. Saturday Night Live. She did right? that, but she was also in some features in the, in the, a couple things too. Anyway, I just if they murder her, I'll watch. But other than that, I'm not <laughs> interested. It's a horror show. She could get killed, right? There's Probably. hope. Probably. There's hope. She could be like Drew Barrymore in the first Scream. Like they could take her out in the first few minutes. Oh, that'd be so hot. <laughs> I wouldn't have to watch anymore. I could just watch that first episode. <laughs> and you can turn over to the family Stallone. Yeah, so, like, I can't believe you're doing this show. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it's me, Sly. <laughs> Pacino's in it, too. Did you see that in the clip? That was oh, Pacino? I look like I'm in Stallone world now. Ooh, uh. Don't... How, how big are their house payments, all these guys? Do they have to take every job? If, if my fucking kid talked me into doing a reality show, you wouldn't do it with me? If you asked me, I would do it. I would make you fucking brush a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you'd eat your fucking words, still be like, how's it feel? <laughs> yeah. Not so funny now, is it? <laughs> it's not about how hard our life hits you. It's about how you can get up again and keep moving forward after you brush the cat down. <laughs> uh, reboots, remakes. Uh, we don't fucking need them. We've already got them. No sex. We've already got one. We don't need another one. It's already been done. I haven't heard that theme song in over Dusting off some minute. of the classics. Yeah. That goes pre-pandemic, that one. Um, HBO Max, now known just as Max. Yeah, well, how well, that was kind of dopey, no? It's stupid. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the HBO part is the part people the know. The classy part. It's not the Max knows. part. Yeah. Max was uh, Max. Jonathan Hart's assistant on Heart to Heart. Wow. <laughs> Old man. That's what I think of when what I think of Max. What a deep cut that is. When they met, it was, it was murder. murder. Na, 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 na. This is Mr. H. I think it's Cinemax. Yeah. Or, or Skinemax. So it sounds like a porn fucking show. But now that they're not using anymore Hollywood Babylon, HBO, we can call ourselves HBO Max. <laughs> oh, fucking <laughs> right? Hey. Oh, my God. They're not using it anymore. That's the name of our reality show with our daughters. <laughs> That's right. Uh, they have announced they are going to put together a Harry Potter television series based on the popular books. This, yeah, nothing lasts forever anymore. I honestly thought those like Daniel Radcliffe and all those Potter kids would be those characters until they fucking died. But now they thought gonna Harry Potter would be them. Wizard of Oz for generations to come. Like every generation would watch that growing no. up. But they're like, nah, fuck that. We're going to do it all over again on Max. Nothing matters anymore. That's the problem. It's like, it, it, used to, it used to wait for a thing, right? How many years did you wait for a fucking Potter movie between those uh, when they were doing book by book by book? Yeah. And now it's just so disposable. It's like, uh, let's just do it again. And, and I know they've been doing that for years. They did it with James Bond. They've done it with Batman. There have been several Batman. There's been several Spider-Man as well. But it, this felt fucking special. But they didn't remake Goldfinger 20 times. You know, True. they wrote they wrote new scripts. This yeah. is the Harry Potter books that they did the movies on are now going to be a TV series. And it's a deal that they made for 10 years by the way. It's going to be a 10 a decade How worth do you of how do you I know the kids are supposed to age like in the books of right. course they go through school, but it's only like 4 years that they're in school, right? right. Yeah. There's seven books but 4 years they take place over. Yes. So Seven years? I know there's seven books, but it technically isn't seven years, right? It's the four years of school. Is it seven years? All right, so you got to get some kids. But it's magic, so it's like four years. Because <laughs> um, they, they go off, two Eurekus, and then they're like two years go by. First off, to all of you who knew it was seven years, fucking nerds. <laughs> and I say that with the utmost respect. Um, you got to get some fucking sperm and shoot the show with them, man. Yeah. As they because it's gonna age take up. you twenty years to shoot ten seasons. Those kids are going into a fucking uh, cement building and not coming out for fucking seven years. Yeah. They're gonna miss their entire fucking childhood. Between seasons, I heard they said it on the, when they announced the show. They're gonna put them in a, a cryogenic chamber <laughs> to try to slow down their maturation and growth by freezing them to almost. Uh, Perfect zero. I don't so. think they can have between seasons. I think they just have to shoot. Just shoot nonstop. Yeah. For those kids' age. Wow. <sighs> Clerks TV show. They tried that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they did. Uh, and also, while we're talking about remakes, Baywatch. <laughs> Baywatch is coming back. That makes sense. Why? <laughs> because it's people running on a beach wearing bikinis and shit. You can get away with that. That was the 80s when I couldn't jerk off to my phone. <laughs> 
But they've we done, don't need this now. They've I done don't a need... number of Baywatches, haven't they? Yes, and they all were shit. <laughs> and now it's going to be shit, new shit. They should combine Potter and Baywatch together. <laughs> Potwatch. <laughs> I was you on would Pot watch Watch for 15 years, not anymore. And uh, gay Justin Bieber's in the news. What do you know? Justin Bieber. Nobody fucking needs ya. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because you're a little cunt. That's right. It does my heart good. I haven't heard that in a while. Uh, Justin Bieber, you know, he uh, he canceled his whole tour. Or postponed, postponed it, postponed it at least. Seems like he does that quite a bit. Yeah, he does. He doesn't, he doesn't really want to sing so much anymore. He's got a lot of other things he likes to do. Like the thing this story's about, he is struggling with his fashion line. Uh, Drew House is the name of his fashion line. He launched it and uh, sunk about $20 million into it, and apparently it's not doing very well at all. I can't believe no one wants to buy a $150 hoodie with a smiley face on it, but... Oh, he did that kind of thing. Here's, uh, here's his fashion line. and See if you can figure out why no one's buying this shit. Why Drew, is that Justin Bieber these days? Yes. He looks like a father. I took that picture behind flappers here by the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. All of, his, all of his fashion has smiley faces on it. The only thing Justin Bieber doesn't do anymore is smile. Wow. Yeah, Drew's his middle name, and that's why he called it oh, the Drew House. I was house. wondering why. And uh, apparently, it's a failure, and it's bleeding money. And he is—he's uh, furious, and he's—he's co- he's considering just stopping music and going full time into fashion to bring his fashion brand back to life. He just can't believe it. Oh my God! <laughs> file, I will. I will file that one. Let's take a look at some geek news. Ruff and Kevin. Ruff and Kevin. Ruff and Kevin. Uh, Star Wars Celebration was last weekend. Our friend JC went over there. He went to England? Yeah, he was there for it. That's love. Yeah. I, at first I got like kind of tight about it, where I was like, why are they doing it in England, man? What about America? And then they were like, they shot him in England. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, they've announced, of course, uh, Ahsoka, the new live-action Star Wars series Trailer's with your pal, amazing with Rosario. Rosario Dawson. So good in it, man. The whole trailer looks really great. Uh, this Dave Filoni, he seems like he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? He's a real deal, man. I went and did, I forget who I was doing it for, but I, maybe it's Tonight Show or something, but we went to Skywalker once, and um, I was uh, interviewing people and stuff, and I got to talk to Dave, and this is going years back. Wait, he was doing the animated stuff? Probably Rebels? when he was working on, even pre-Rebels even, mm-hmm. and stuff. And um, I think, like, you know, it was, I was making fucking prequel jokes, as you did back in those days, Jar Jar jokes and shit. And he got real like serious where he was like, you don't understand those movies. They're really good. And he gave me like a 20-minute breakdown of, those se- of the prequels that really spun me around. I went home and watched him. I was like, he's right. These are fucking good. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's devoted, man. He's, he's true uh, died in the wool like Lucas fan and he's believes in George. keeping the franchise and alive. He you know? really is. Him and Fabs. Like, yeah. Have you been watching uh, Mandalorian? I have. I'm a couple episodes behind. But, the uh, fucking episode this week is fantastic. Can't like wait. really fantastic. It's good stuff. I yeah. remember when it first came out and I sort of laughed at it. You were like, you have to watch it. Yeah. It's like Kung Fu with Star Wars. You'll love it. And, yeah, I, and very I do. Much. Yeah. They, they, uh, had, you know, they got some shit this season from people that thought they like lost their way or didn't do enough Mandalorian episodes. But I actually didn't mind the episodes where they stepped away from Mandalorian. They just one episode with like Dr. Pershing, that character. Did you see that? Not one. Not yet. It's fucking dope where they do this whole mythology. Oh yeah, where he's sort of, uh, he's, he's been peeled off in the like, amnesty program. He's been like, restructured. Into, the idea yeah. of like Imperials who like after, after Return of the Jedi, you got a bunch of Imperials who were like, well, I, you know, I was just following orders and shit. And so they bring them into the new Republic and they recondition them and try to like make them part of society while still keep them separate. Like, those are Imperials and shit. Right. But it was really, like, an interesting episode and, and kind of uh, kind of cool, like, the twists and turns that it took. But the most recent episode is, like, all Mandalorian. And, and, and they're, you know, the, now they're questioning, like, what does that title mean? Because it's not necessarily just about Din Djarin, the one Mandalorian. Right. We got spent Boca Raton, Florida, too. Boca got Raton. Her. Yeah. Boca Raton, Oh, that's right. Yeah. Boca Raton. <laughs> 
They've rewarded Dave Filoni by giving him a movie. He's going to be doing one of the Fuck Star Wars yeah, movies. Yeah, he's going to so do great. that. He says he's going to wrap up all that stuff. Yeah. In a, in a feature film. So we're going to see baby uh, Yoda Grogu on the big screen, man. Finally. Can't get enough of him. <laughs> Remember one of my favorite moments bop on it, this show. Pull it. Bop it. Pull it. Bop it. Pull it. Bop it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Dance tune right there. It is. One of my favorite moments on the show ever was actually during a very sad time in your life. Yes. When uh, it was uh, your was it your mom? Your dad my father passed just away. passed. Yeah. And, and I was um, in the midst of a divorce. And he was in the midst of a divorce, and he was like talking about it on the show, and I was like, "Oh my god, have you seen The Mandalorian yet? Like, it's amazing. Show you got to watch it." And he was just like, "I'm going through the worst time of my life. I got time for Baby Yoda yeah. and shit." So my father just died. I don't have time for <laughs> fucking Baby Yoda. Oh my god, I still laugh at that to this day. <laughs> Not your father. That no, sure, yeah, part. whatever. Yeah, I'll keep you up to date on all the deaths of my relatives. You'll have a laugh riot. It'll be a good time for you. <laughs> that was good, man. Fuck, where'd you pull that from? <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> It's from Star Wars, Kevin. <laughs> Dr. Josh Roush is back, everybody. Give it up for Josh. <laughs> hey, when are we going to see Wrong Reasons? When can I see Wrong Reasons? When can I, when can I see that movie? August 15th on Blu-ray, DVD, and streaming. What? August yes, 15th. Sir. Everyone can see the film that Josh wrote and directed and... Uh, some of the best actors I've ever seen. That's all I know. That's all I know who's in it. Kevin no, he was Smith's very kind. He gave me a that big. Bunch. What's that? Huh? Kevin Smith's in it. I'll he is. He much. is in that. Uh, yeah, Josh gave me a big juicy role, and it was so much fun to do. So can... I act with my mouth, which is something I never normally do. Right, you have to speak words and everything. I said some shit. You yeah. did. Not so silent, Bob. You <laughs> acted with your mouth, but you always do that. I... Well, not in your films. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One fucking time, man. Yoga Hoser just said a lot of shit, and you saw what happened there. So <laughs> Next next time, you go back to saying nothing. Um, and lastly, the Marvels trailer dropped this week. Have you seen this from Marvels? I, I, I mean, I hesitate to say it out loud, because the internet will fucking circumcise me and shit, but I thought it was great. I did, too. It's great, right? And I was shocked how... Excited and interested in I'm in seeing this film. Yeah. Because I, I don't get me wrong, I like Captain Marvel and I liked, I don't know what Brie Larson Made a did to some people. people some movie. people really don't like her, but I think yeah. she's fine. I think she's great. I didn't watch the Ms. Marvel show on Disney Plus. I just I just didn't get around to it. It's wonderful. I've heard it's great. And the, the filmmakers behind the show are absolutely legit. Like the style of that show is great. She is charming as hell. But that was a legit great show. I enjoyed it. Uh, the character then, of Monica Rambeau, who I... She was on uh, WandaVision, WandaVision, which, which I great. also fucking loved. So now they're bringing them together into this trio of female superheroes called the Marvels. And I, I went in going, eh, And I saw the trailer, and I was blown away. I thought it was fun. Looks and then fun as the hell. internet took a big shit in its mouth. Did it really? Like, I wasn't oh aware. Oh, my God. They're going like, oh, it's fucking one of them fun movies. It's like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. They keep going, like, why can't Marvel go back to being serious? What was the serious movie? Other than Captain America, uh, like, The Winter, Winter Soldier, Soldier. Like, everything has always had some levity to it. Yeah, that's, some joy. But people act like, fucking, no, no, no. Fucking, they're taking it too funny now. But there's always been, like, elements of humor in all those movies. Should we watch the trailer together Fuck and yes. we'll decide in the room? Yes. Hit it, Josh. It looks good, Captain too. Rambo? What the hell are you doing? Entering the jump point perimeter. I'm gonna get you some readings, Fury. Monica. Hello? Monica. Hello? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Captain Rambo? They use Beastie Boys. Where's Captain Rambo? What the? Hi. We're looking for Kamala Khan. Okay. 
Okay, so our powers are entangled. I can manipulate light energy. And you, I can totally show you. No! Again. Hi. Where's our daughter? Wherever you were. Lurking. Oh, no, 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 we're not a team. We're not a team. <gasps> that one looked great, man. That and I have shot to say, of uh, Brie Larson, though, was the, what, mo the thing that broke the internet this week. That what? shot of her, uh, the, apparently the whole internet, even though a lot of people on the internet don't seem to like her or come out against her or whatever, right. that shot. Of, of her in the white top in the crop top yes that uh, was a that was a thumbs up from the internet like even people like i hate her but i love that shot <laughs> like they really went for it and i then like she, boobs yes she talked about how because people were like those are that's some gravity defying fucking bra work right there and she said that it was a whole team that worked on it and there's a third strap on the bra that's crazy that's why it works and stuff i just read a whole article about it <laughs> i read it very slowly <laughs> Yes. <laughs> She's from New Jersey. Bree is? Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> you know what they have in New Jersey? Aldi. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah, the more you know. I have to say, though, selfishly, as the father of a 13-year-old girl, I don't hate that there's a movie for her where it's a bunch of girls kicking ass and fighting super... A, super I agree with you, stuff. B... Yeah. Don't say that out loud. The I know. I'm will, sorry. I internet apologize. Will come for you. It's just for boys. Sorry, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, kids, it's time for us to say goodbye. But before we do, wait before we fucking go. What? One you more. Make me smell lavender again? No. Uh, one more reminder. Uh, when do we do this again? We'll be back here next month on the 20th of May. Y'all gonna come back? Come on back. Come back and join us. Except Norway and Australia, you guys. No, they have to come too. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, and then, and then New Jersey, the third and June fourth. Third and fourth, come see us in New Jersey. It's Mod Castle, man, because that Super Mario Brothers movie ain't gonna be around. <laughs> it's not working. Yeah, yeah. So, and we're literally we're gonna try to do it uh, monthly, mo moving on from here on out to uh, get on a more regular schedule. Because some road. people are like, "When are you guys gonna do another Hollywood Babylon?" I was like, "We've done like four recently, yeah. motherfucker," but nobody knows. We could take them on the road to places you'll never remember, like Reno, Nevada. <laughs> That's right. We should go back there. I enjoyed that show. That was really fun. <laughs> that was our hundredth show. I don't know if you it know was our hundredth yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, Dick Shooter, Idaho. Dick Shooter, Idaho. We're Excellent going to Dick Shooter. Plan. Cause I'm your Dick Shooter. Shoot your dick in my direction. <laughs> Wasn't that how that went? Was that Apollonia? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vanity Six. Vanity well Six. Done. That's Excellent right. Fucking yeah. call. I wish I had more Manscaped things to give you for that answer, but sadly <laughs> I don't. All right, before we say goodbye, though, that we have one last bit of business. We always like to tell the facts of Liam Neeson, one of the biggest cocks in show business, and I mean that in a good way. You almost knocked my drink over with your cock. This is the story of my life. He is uh, famously one of the biggest penises in Hollywood. Every week you folks send in your stuff to H. B-O podcast at AOL.com to give us your facts. You can email us, uh, by the way, at that email address for anything you'd like to send our way. Here they are, this week's facts about Liam Neeson's cock. Oh, we can't help but wonder how big is Liam Neeson's cock. You could be a Muppeteer. I learned from the best. <laughs> That's right. Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? The U.S. attempted to shoot it down, thinking it was a spy balloon. <laughs> it's true. Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? Liam unzipped and left a crater that Arnold Schwarzenegger had to fill. <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? 
It's girth makes Brendan Fraser in the whale look like Karen Carpenter. <laughs> Too soon? Too soon for Karen Carpenter jokes? I can't believe people got that joke. It's like referencing heart to heart. <laughs> <laughs> when they met, it, it was, was murder. murder. Liam Neeson's cock is so big. His orgasm resulted in a multiverse that only the Flash can repair. And lastly, Liam Neeson's cock is so big. It's getting its own biopic entitled Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Ladies and gentlemen, have you had a good time this evening? Thank you so much for joining us. We truly appreciate you being here very but much. There is no show without the man to my left. Give it up for Ralph fucking Garman. <laughs> Let's hear it for my bestest buddy and Babel brother, Mr. Kevin Smith. <laughs> and that is Hollywood Babylon for this week. I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Ralph Garman. Babble the fuck off. Good night, Burbank. Give it up for Ralph Garman and Kevin Smith. This is the cat. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the AKA Ask Kev Anything. Every saga has a 10 year anniversary, ladies and gentlemen, and this is what happens when Jay and Sal Bob get old. I'm Kevin Smith. Cheers, you! <laughs>